This is my story about my reverted white knight philodendron. Reverted. Keep watching. Hey, what's going on folks? My name is Gerard. I'm an exotic plant collector and I collect plants and I talk about my collection on YouTube. Today, well first off, let me thank you for watching my channel. I appreciate your time and um, I appreciate your support. I'd appreciate you clicking that like and subscribe button if you haven't seen any of my videos. Mostly I'm just talking about how I take care of my plants in my home and um, what the plants are doing for me in my life because they're very powerful and inspirational to me so that's what's going on in this channel hope you enjoy the rest of the show so <clears throat> like I said I'm a, I'm an exotic plant collector and I have a very beautiful plant this is still a beautiful plant but it's reverted it has no white leaves no white nothing besides in between the petiole here I mean which is still fly it still looks dope still looks nice um, but fortunately I don't have any white I used to have a white knight philodendron it is no longer with me um, I was thinking this one would uh, give me some great white leaves come to find out that the white knight philodendron is still a very pricey plant and it's hard to get a nice looking white night philodendron for under two hundred dollars I would say it's a very expensive plant but it's a very beautiful plant but it's also it's also a risky plant like a too risky plant for me I would not personally spend anything over fifty dollars for a white night philodendron from like my honest opinion because of this I'm gonna tr I've I've cut this back a few times you can see in the middle like right there that was the uh, the cut that I've made I think I've gotten three plants out of the cutting and I still have one left two left that are still growing but I still do not have any whiteness coming out of those leaves that I uh, that I that I have right now that I cut from this one so I believe my plan for this is just to let it grow. I do enjoy the way the leaves look either way without the without the the the, the white. I mean, I got a lot of uh other variegated plants, but I think in between like the petioles that's like a nice looking feature. You see how it's like split up. It's all changed up in there. It's a really cool philodendron. It's about to grow. It's like trying to grow, but uh, I don't know if I want to propagate it. I might propagate it. I'm a big propagator if you haven't <clears throat> noticed. Uh, and if this plant gets, you know, gets to really getting getting up there, it's going to get too tall, so I'll have to cut it back anyway. And I don't throw away cuttings. I just propagate them and recirculate them throughout the world. You know what I mean? But um, as far as for what I've been doing for this plant, um, trying to get the reversion back, I where I was getting, um, I think I actually did get a little bit of white on one of the cuttings. Matter of fact, let me take that back. Hold on, let me show you. All right, so what I have in my hands right now are three different vessels two glass one cement you see it's the same pattern that 
Well, let's start with this one. This is the biggest one that I had. And I uh, grew it out of a cutting. I um, still got the still got the white in between the leaves, which is nice. But I don't have any white on any of the leaves. Which is okay, you know. These leaves and these leaves almost look the same. Pretty much the same. And this came from that plant that you just saw. Now I want to show you another cutting that was a little late to the party. This one here. I'm growing this in straight spag moss. And there's no white. But we still got the little white on the petiole. But still no white. Last. Last cutting. Barely making it. There's a little bit of white. There's a little bit of white. <laughs> like right there. I don't know if you can see it too well. It's like on the corner. It's like right there. You see it? It's a little bit of white. We got white. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> this is the smallest cutting, but I finally got some white out of the leaves. Like, the, who knows what's going to happen next? Um, I did try giving the smaller cuttings more light than the mother plant, and uh, I also tried giving this plant less light, less foot candles distance away um, same time frame as much as everybody everybody's getting the same amount of 12 hours a day with um, a range between 200 and 230 foot candles I think that's my range 200 to 250 I want to say it's around there uh, foot candles a day um, the watering and I also have different substrate, like you saw, I have the um, spag moss, and I have two that are in dirt that is on a real fine orchid bark. One of my favorite soil types. You can see how soft that is. It just moves around when it gets when it gets dry. It doesn't get compacted. When it's dry, it just like breaks up it doesn't get compacted I like soils like that I believe that is a fox farm happy frog mix that's like my go-to mixes that I first started out with um, because I, I did very well with the plant I also noticed that uh, it's really airy it's really light it's almost like flakes of orchid bark really small that are pretty much ground up perfectly so I like that for my philodendrons so when they're getting dry their roots don't get too dry and I believe it, it, it basically goes down it's searching for it searches for more water when it needs water obviously that, that would be the goal if if the plant is, is in need of water it would search for more water so the, the roots would go down deeper and spread out and when you have the loose soil that spread isn't too stressful for the roots and the uh, plant can spread out its roots and penetrate more soil without being stifled in or um, blocked by strong compacted dirt that's when that's why I normally pot my plants I don't 
I stopped. I used to do it. I used to pack the the, the dirt down, but now I know not to um, push the soil down when I'm potting up my plants because that compaction um, stops the airflow, and we don't want that. But other than that, guys, like I said, that is my story, um, my journey with this reverted white knight philodendron. You know, I have four, actually have five right now, I would say. Well, no, I have four. I have four. This is two. This is the other two. The um I'm just gonna watch for more white. I mean this this is I wasn't expecting to see white at all. But like I said, I do see some white on this leaf. You can kinda see a little better here. It has some white speckles. So hopefully <laughs> you know in time I can have a better better story for you to hear about but right now it's just still the hunt with the reverted white knight philodendrons uh, like I said the leaves still look great it's still like a nice looking plant if you guys have a white knight philodendron have you ever experienced it going reverted if uh, you have any tips you'd like to add to this please put them in the comment section below I'd appreciate to see and to hear your feedback, I will definitely get back to you. Um, and hopefully we can all help each other. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's all about. And once again, my name is Gerard. I'm an exotic plant collector. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you saw. I have a lot of other videos that I talk about my experience with plant care. And disclaimer, I should have said this in the beginning. I'm just a plant collector. See what works for you, because what works for me might not work for you. Um, everybody's conditions on their houses are different. Um, humidity levels, things like that, temperatures, lighting, everything comes into play when you're trying to make your plant feel as much as home as possible, because that's the goal, because you basically have to mimic the environment for what your plant is native to and that's our job so with that said use your own advice use what works for you see what works for you and ask for help along the way I always make mistakes make mistakes they're the best teachers I say and um, as long as you keep growing you keep growing and so I'm gonna just leave it at that keep growing Peace out and keep growing and peace out and keep growing.